I'm Christy Duffy for Smart Trend News, and here's a look at commodities for Thursday, June 24th. Oil is weaker Thursday morning as U.S. crude inventories rose, while the Federal Reserve's worries about the European sovereign debt crisis affecting the U.S. economy has renewed concerns about global economic prospects. A slump in equities markets worldwide has dampened energy demand across the board. Gold is losing ground, too, on profit-taking, and many investors are selling off the yellow metal to cover losses in other markets. Mining shares are broadly higher, however, with hopes high that a change in Australian government leadership will lead to a scrapping of the 40 percent mining tax that had been planned under Kevin Rudd's labor rule. Australia is home to some of the world's biggest mining companies, including Rio Tinto and BHP Billiton. As of early this morning, Brent crude is down by six-tenths of a of 1% at $75.84 a barrel, light sweet crude down by two tenths of a percent at $76.21 a barrel, natural gas down by a third of a percent, $4.79 a million British thermal units. Gold is down by a tenth of a percent, $1,234.70 an ounce. Silver is down by a third of a percent, $18.41 an ounce, and copper is up by nine tenths of a percent, $2.96 a pound. The U.S. government, meanwhile, has appealed U.S. District Judge Martin Feldman's order not to enforce the moratorium on deepwater drilling. The New Orleans federal judge said that the moratorium imposed after the BP disaster in the Gulf of Mexico was too broad. In Russia, OAO Luckoil does not expect ConocoPhillips to completely sell out of the company, despite the U.S. group's move to have its stake in Luckoil. Conoco said it would have its 20% stake in Luck Oil within the next three years, but CEO told the Daily News that it was unlikely that Conoco would sell off its remaining 10% sharehold. PetroQuest Energy cut its production outlook for the second quarter due to unexpected shut-ins at two of its fields and the sale of stake in Woodford Shale assets. The government of Guatemala decided to suspend mining operations in San Miguel, but Gold Corp continues to operate the mine. CEO Chuck Jean said that there was no basis for suspending operations, even though the Organization of American States has ordered Guatemala to suspend operations at the mine by June 24th for violating human rights and environmental destruction. I'm Chrissy Duffy for Smart Trend News. For more on these commodities headlines, visit our website, tradethetrend.com. You can also receive more news updates from us by subscribing to our YouTube channel. That's Trade the Trend.